DYL also includes an interactive voice response or IVR system for your office. So these are the menus for your callers. Once they call into your office, they can press one for sales, two for service, and so on. So to access that, just go to your settings page, click on IVR prompts. You're gonna see an IVR prompt setup call-in number. Simply call that number and enter in your PIN and follow the instructions to record your message. Once you record your message, just refresh your page and you'll see that it's listed here under your messages. And you can edit the name to whatever you like it to be. So let's say I make this menu one. And if I'd like to download a file to listen to how it sounds, I can do that as well. Here's your sample IVR message. Please press one for sales, press two for And then the next thing I'm going to do is edit my prompt options. So in this case, since I said it was pressing one for sales and two for service, I'm gonna do that. So I'll press one under digit, and then I route it to the sales department. So in this case, I see my ring group for commercial sales. Simply add the option and add as many options as you put into your message. And if you ever need to update this, just simply click edit routing. You can route that somewhere else. You can also route these to voicemail boxes if you prefer not to have this go to a ring group. Then there are also some additional options here for your voice prompts. So you can see here the name of your prompt. Would you like it to only play a message? In this case, that would mean that there are no prompts. They simply listen to the message and that's it. You can also allow direct extension. So if someone knows your direct extension and wants to dial you, once they reach that menu, they can do that. Or you can disable that by selecting not allowed. And then you'll see an option for what happens if nothing is pressed. So if they don't press a button on that menu, you can have it hang up. Though we do recommend to either send that caller to another ring group or a voicemail so that you don't lose the call. So in this case, if I want them to go to a company voicemail box, if they don't press a button, this is how that would look. Simply click update. 